What I'm doing today is I'm creating a comic book cover. It's going to be painted. This is the just black and white line art right here. I did it in Photoshop. And then I um, just printed it out. And what I'm going to do from here is transfer it over to the uh, canvas. This is the uh, printout right here. I'm using an art projector that will go from a one inch scale to one foot. So this is a uh, two by three inch. So the end result will be a painting that's about 24 by 36. This is my super fancy uh, setup here. This is a, an art projector and I put on, a, <laughs> on various things to get it at the right height. What that will be doing is projecting onto the canvas over here. Normally I will work with just a, a blank white uh, panel. That way the pencil lines will show up nice and neat. But uh, this is actually the back cover of the previous issue and I'm going to reuse the panel to be the front cover for issue number three. Okay, this isn't going to work very well. Um, but and it's just too dark in the room for the camera to pick up. However, what I'm doing is I'm getting the uh, drawing in the focus. Uh, yeah, the drawing is uh, pretty much centered where I want it to be, uh, equal distance from uh, the edges. And then from here, it's just a matter of going over and tracing out Alright, well, the image is now transferred over. As you can see, you know, the uh, pencil lines. I can't really tell uh, what's happening up here, but I'm uh, just going over the drawing and making sure I didn't miss anything too important. Alright, well, from here, uh, we're going to take it inside and uh, start laying a primer down and making that black and white version of this painting. Uh, over here what I'm doing is preparing my palette. This is a, uh, it's a stay wet sponge with a type of butcher paper and letting them soak for now. And then what I'll do is I'll lay down, I'll get some uh, white gesso and black gesso and make probably five or six uh, shades between the two steps to uh, to fill in the pencil lines. Now we're going to begin applying it and filling in the, uh, the main body of uh, this character. Uh, normally I would work from light to dark but the, uh, the body of this character is uh, pretty dark blackish blue so I'm going to go ahead and just apply a uh, a similar value uh, primer to it. And basically I'm just applying like large flat areas of, of color. I'm going to switch over to a lighter shade for the uh, inner lids over here. Actually, let me let me go ahead and do this the white of the eye. Now this isn't uh, straight white. This is just the uh, the next shade down. I don't really like to apply um, straight white or black to my stuff because when you lay the color down on top of it, it becomes difficult to, uh, to cover, and especially when you do uh, straight black. This is pretty much the 50% uh, the mark between uh, white and black uh, that I made. The uh, brush that I'm using is uh, it's just a flat brush. Actually, pretty much every brush I have um, is if it isn't a lining brush, it's a flat. Uh, I don't really like rounds because they're not very precise. I mean, I know they're supposed to be good for blending, but 
and I can do pretty much the same thing with the with a flat. Also works really well for doing lines like this. You know, and it holds much more paint than your normal uh, lining brush. Yeah, I try to keep my wrist straight and just uh, drag it along. You know, instead of flopping around like this, you know, you get a lot of uneven pressure in the strokes if you do it that way. It's a technique I picked up from a, an inking book for comic books. Uh, for this blade, what I'm do is probably go, since this character is lighter skinned, um, I'm going to go from this 50-50 uh, shade to the next step up. And it'll be a blend in right around here, you know, the transition. Here is the finished uh, product as far as the priming stage. I went ahead and added a little bit of line work and detail just to make sure I got all the proportions right. And then uh, just like a little bit of uh, shading on the metal reflections. And then from here we're going to uh, start mixing up the uh, the colors and uh, start laying down just thin washes to establish the uh, flesh tones and the and the colors of the um, the fan blades. Uh, all in all, this took um, I don't know maybe an hour to do. It goes by pretty quick because I mean you're not dealing with uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's only about five shades of a. Uh, white to black. As you can see I've already started laying down some color. Uh, basically I'm building up the service using a lot of really thin washes. Uh, what we're about to do is uh, start adding some shadow tones to the flesh over here. I don't know how well this is going to show up. But over time, over like four or five layers, it'll, it'll definitely start to pop. Actually, I think this might be a little dark, but I can always uh, go over it and, and lighten it up. I'm going to start adding highlights to uh, you know the face and the rest of the body. This is mostly uh, titanium mixing white with the uh, the lightest body shade. It's it's barely registering over here, so I imagine on the camera it's probably not doing anything. I've started working on the last figure right here. Uh, it's going to be kind of tricky because there's a lot of neutral tones, a lot of flesh tone, but it's not just like a normal healthy skin tone. It's very pale and um, 
what I have in mind is to maybe mix in like a tiny bit of green to make it kind of like a, a dead flesh color. I'm guessing by the time I have all of my metallic reflections and secondary lighting and, and the, the texture, um, be maybe 10 hours of work. As you can tell, I've been uh, adding more and more uh, layers and detail. Got the uh, metal texture in here. This is using this, uh, it's a, I believe it's called a French blue. Um, and also added like the little reflective surface of the skin in here. And of course the uh, highlights. And uh, use a probably a thin wash of this kind of color right here to, to bring in the light onto uh, these limbs. And then the last part that I'm going to do is focus on the, the mouth and eyes and just little touch-ups. As you can see, I've been working on uh, the touching up the, uh, the mouth, adding in the teeth, and then uh, doing a lot of little layers and uh, detail work over here for the eyes. The last touch is going to be uh, putting in the uh, mustache that this character has. Mm. Basically I'm using a uh, thalo blue with a um, little bit of purple and carbon black. It's a lot like this stuff over here. Stopping point. Yeah. Uh, just so you can see the rest of it. Add uh, this lower left corner right here, more red, because the next canvas for the final issue is going to be mostly red, and it's going to transition and fade. Uh, over here, this bolt was not the same dimensions as uh, this one, so I had to uh, increase the uh, length and the width just a little bit. I think it turned out all right. Last change, which was a kind of a major one, was to take this and it used to be kind of an olive drab color, but then um, it just wasn't contrasting very well with uh, the background. So we decided to go with just a plain old charcoal gray. The final step will be uh, clear coating it and then uh, that should be it. And then going into the computer and adding the, uh, the title up top and the prices and the, the logo. So there you go.